Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for June 28, 2010. On the NASDAQ 10-day chart, looks like uh, Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, Wave 4, and Wave 5, which means that we can see an upper 2 this week. The highest target I have for an upper 2 is as high as uh, 2290, 2290 to 2295. But um, if this is Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, and the rally at the, at the close on um, Friday was an upper 4, we still have yet to see a downward five, which means that there could be a gap down tomorrow to see a downward five. But after that, there could be an upward two reversal. For the S&P, best case scenario, this is a wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five. And we can see an upward two this week. Highest target I have for the S&P for an upward two is as high as 1107. But, um... If this is a, the worst case scenario that this is wave one, wave two, wave three, and the rally at the close on Friday was an upward four, and it's, which means that S&P has, has yet to see a downward five. So any gap down this week could be a downward five before, before an upward two. For the Dow, worst case scenario that this is wave one, wave two, wave three, and the rally at the close is a wave four, which means we, we have to see a downward five tomorrow. But um, before, after five waves complete, they can meet up with two. Number two could target as high as 10,400. So basically, um, we, can, we can see upper twos this week, but we need to complete a downward five. And hopefully just a mild downward five. That's a wrap.